There is a very big trend going on in wearing more neutral and classic pieces, and this trend has been going on for a while. And I don't think it's going anywhere. It's going to continue into the spring and maybe even longer. And I do think that even though it's a trend, we all love having the neutrals and the classic pieces in our wardrobe, but sometimes we can have too many and our outfits can get a bit boring, which I have experienced here lately. So I wanna give you some inspiration to make those outfits look a little bit better. And I also wanna thank Vivaya for sponsoring this video you will see their shoes styled with all of these outfits and they have been a sponsor on my channel for a while so I really think you're going to enjoy this so thank you so much for watching if you love this video please give it a thumbs up and also consider subscribing and remember to love your neighbor and be kind so before I jump into the outfits I just want to tell you a little bit about Vivaya because I think you will find them very interesting they are a women's footwear company and they actually create handbags too which I'll show you my handbag in the video as well but they really focus on being sustainable eco-friendly, very responsible to the environment because all of their shoes are created out of six water bottles. And so I really think that they have a very cool concept. Their fabrics on their shoes are super soft, super stretchy, very comfortable. They have a lot of longevity and a lot of them are water resistant, which is very cool. I actually wore a pair of my boots out the other day when it was raining and it was perfect. I didn't have any issues. So um, if you need something like that, these are a great option for you. And so before I share the shoes, I wanted to tell you about their new insole because this insole is very important, especially if you have problematic feet or you just need really comfortable shoes. So this insole has a double arch support. It has a shock absorbing heel pad and also a midsole heel pad. And it has this amazing pressure relief diamond pattern in it. So I have worn this new insole sole for a while and it is really really amazing so I think if you have problematic feet say you have narrow feet or wide feet do not be afraid to try these shoes because their sizing has a lot of different ranges to it just make sure you look at their sizing guide and their measurements so you can find the appropriate size so the first shoe I want to share with you is the Aria 5 degree because this is a very popular shoe they've had it in their collection for a while it is a bestseller and I chose this one because I love this black tip I think it's very Chanel-esque and it looks very expensive on and it looks really good on the foot as you'll see in some of the outfits I put together. But it has this beautiful perforation to it as well so it just looks really good and it also comes in other colors if you're interested and it's really comfortable especially for a pointed toe shoe which a lot of you have said you don't always like wearing but I love a pointed toe shoe especially if it's comfortable and this one is comfortable. The next one I want to share with you is the Marcella and this ankle boot I had to have because it's gray and I have really struggled with styling some of my gray and I think it goes back really well if you have a lot of gray in your wardrobe which is a really good neutral right now but these have a little bit more of a ribbed look that I thought was really interesting and they are water resistant which a lot of the materials are water resistant and it will tell you on the website and they also have this beautiful zipper that I thought was great gave them a little bit more style and I think they've started to add these to some of their ankle boots and I thought that they were really cool because most of the ones that I have are just pull-ons and this just makes it a little bit more fun and a little bit more stylish. And the next ankle boot I chose is the Michaela one because it is a wedge and I thought the wedge was really cool. It has the square toe. It's also water resistant and it just has a lot of style to it. And one of the main reasons why I chose this is because it is a camel color. So they call it nutmeg, but it's really rich looking, really beautiful. I think it looks expensive and it goes back really well with my camel, which you'll see in some of my outfits in the video. But I also have it in black. If you want to see it in black, it's really amazing. And I think it does come in other colors as well. So they are having some really good Black Friday deals. So if you are interested, I have a 15% discount, but they'll also have other discounts if you buy multiple multiple pairs so definitely check it out right now and that code will be right here and it will be in the description below for you. So the first set of outfits are with the Aria 5 degree flat that I got because I love the Chanel look of this. I think it makes the outfits look a little bit more expensive. So my first tip is to think about the shoes that you're pairing with your outfits. And also you'll see in this section that I have used a print that is two neutral colors together. So you can think about that as well. So adding prints to your wardrobe and wearing them in neutral colors with your neutrals actually will elevate your neutrals. And so I took my polka dot blouse that I just got and I absolutely 
absolutely love this and just put it with my ivory jeans and ivory is still really big for the fall and I think that is okay to still wear your ivory jeans and so I just put it with these flats and I tucked in the top and put on a skinny belt which skinny belts are on trend right now as well so thinking about your accessories and your shoes and then if you want to add a print in actually can elevate your outfits a lot and normally I would put all black with this which I'd you know, I would put black pants and black shoes, but I chose to put black pants with this, keep the blouse untucked, and then put on the pointed toe flats. But with the pointed toe shoe here, I thought with that black tip, it just gave it a little bit of a different feel and maybe a little bit more of an elevated and expensive feel. So the handbag I'm wearing in these outfits is also from Vivaya, which is this black little crossbody. It's called Sophia. And I wanted to try their bags because I thought they were so cute. And they're made out of the same fabric material. So in the water bottles or recycled water bottles and it has this really pretty chevron pattern on it um, hopefully you can see that and I just thought it was really cute and it's a crossbody which is nice and it's black so it'll go with a lot of different things and I think a lot of their bags come in other colors so definitely check them out and they also have tote bags and other cool bags so this one has a flap that is magnetic and then it has the back pocket for your cell phone that makes it super easy but I really loved this one and thought it was a really good style so the next outfit might surprise you it did me but I took my plaid blazer and I wanted to see what it would look like with these shoes and also I wanted to create a different look because normally I would wear the blazer open with all black underneath it and I decided to wear it closed and put a belt over it so think about how you're wearing your accessories think about some of the things you've seen that are current and uh, going strong in style and this is a strong style right now is to put your belt over your blazer and choosing the right belt is also what you have to think about so whether you want to do a thick one or a thin one and i thought a thin one looked best here so it didn't impede on the pocket so i think you have to think about that but i really loved this look and it was a lot of fun to me and adding the shoe to it as opposed to the ankle boot i think elevated it even more and made it look a little bit dressier so this is a great outfit if you have a work event or a meeting or something you have to go to or you just love blazers and like wearing them all the time but this is a different way to think about it so think about your accessories and your shoes and what you can do to elevate some of those classic and neutral outfits. So now for my favorite neutral that is the most trending neutral for the season, and this is going to be huge in the spring as well, and that's gray. So I wanted to style those gray ankle boots with some outfits because I have recently added some gray sweaters because I really don't have a lot of gray in my closet. I don't wear a lot of it, but I wanted to try it and I've actually enjoyed wearing it. And so this first outfit is just a gray poncho with a cute little gray bag and then a black pair of pants and then the gray ankle boots. So that ankle boot did have that black strip in the back, which I felt went really well with the outfit and it coordinated really well. And I just think that getting the contrast from, you know, gray on top and gray on bottom and the darker in between is a really elevated look. And I do like the contrast look, but I also would love a monochromatic look. So if you can create gray from head to toe, either the same color or different shades of the color, I think it would be awesome, but I just didn't have the right pieces to do it. So if you can do it, definitely try it. So I also think grays can go really well with browns as long as you combine the right colors. So I have a light gray turtleneck sweater that I put underneath my moto jacket that's a brownish cognac color so the shade of this I think went really well with the cool gray and then I just added my favorite kick flares and then the gray bag and the gray ankle boots and I just had a lot of fun with this so you know thinking outside of the box and doing some different things with your grays and mixing your neutral colors together can really make a big impact so I think the lighter grays are a little bit easier to mix with some of your browns so definitely try a lighter gray with even chocolate brown as opposed to the cognac color if you have it in your wardrobe. I also want you to think about colors that you love. So if you have a lot of neutrals and no color in your wardrobe, it's definitely going to be boring. So think about colors you love. And I love pink. And so I really wanted to mix my pink and gray because I love that combination. And I just have not mixed it a lot. And what I did is I just took this pink sweater, put on jeans, and then the gray ankle boots. And instead of doing a tan or a black, which can be a little harsh with the black, I really thought that the gray coordinated really well and made this outfit 
look even that much better. And then I put the gray bag on, which helped bring back in the gray. And it just gave me another purpose to wear my pinks. And I really loved this. So definitely think outside of the box. And if you're wearing a gray shoe and don't have gray on top, you can definitely coordinate some other pieces like your handbags or your belt or even a scarf back with it to bring the gray color back in. So camel has become one of my favorite neutrals. I have tended to wear it a lot lately or even darker or lighter shades of camel. Camel, and I think it's because you can find a lot of it now and it just always looks really good So I think taking your camel and just thinking a little bit outside the box with it is a good idea And one way that I decided to do that is with a pair of ankle boots because a lot of times I struggle with Pairing shoes back with camel and normally I'll just do black I don't have any brown shoes because I don't love brown, but I know brown would go really well But I think if you have a, a camel that goes back with a lot of your camel then it is a really good look. So the first outfit I have is with my will jacket that's just this ivory denim jacket over a camel and white stripe button up shirt with my straight leg jeans and then the nutmeg ankle booties that I showed you in the beginning. And I just loved this combination. I thought it was a lot of fun. And just adding back that ankle boot that is a different color other than tan, I just thought elevated the outfit a bit. And then also the wedge heel is a lot of fun. So just thinking outside the box with some of these things can make it, it's a little change, but it can make a big difference. So another outfit I thought was great with a camel boot is to put a camel blazer on with just a neutral color. So I just put an ivory turtleneck on and then a pair of flare leg jeans, which are very flattering. And I think they look very good with classic blazers. And I did add a skinny belt to this as well, just to bring back in some more of that camel color, although it's a little bit darker. I think it still went really well. So, but I thought these were two great examples of mixing some of your neutral colors up and maybe thinking about a different shoe again and just really elevating your outfit that way and making sure everything just coordinates really well together. So something that is really popular right now that you could try that looks really good, but I know some people don't love this, but it's wearing all black. And you can really pick some nice pieces to put together to wear all black and maybe find some things that have different textures to them or even patterns to them. So the first outfit I chose is a silk blouse with some ponty pants and then these black wedge ankle boots. And I just thought this was a fun look, but how it is elevated is by adding maybe a pop of color with your bag or another neutral color into your outfit with a bag. So I just added the gray bag that I love and I just thought this was a really good way to look a little bit more modern and to be a little bit more on trend. So I hope you found those outfits helpful and I hope you can think a little bit outside the box with some of your neutral classic pieces. And I will provide a code for you here for Vivaya for 15% off and then definitely check out their Black Friday deals they have going on. And if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments and thank you Vivaya for sponsoring this video. And thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and also consider subscribing and I will talk to you next time.